Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today, we're reading for March 30th through April 2nd, Monday through Thursday, for my Leos. Hello, my Leos. How are you? Well, you know I use my two Radley Valentine decks. Um, I use for the main message my Archangel Power Tarot cards, and then I pull one, usually, from my Angel Tarot cards. I have prayed, meditated, and infused both decks with Reiki energy, but remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest. Okay? Okay. So we still, we continue to live in interesting times. Um, you know, I do, you know, and again, too, I will say, you know, and this is not to panic anybody. This is more to, um, so that, you know, that... People know that when you know things, and if, even if they're scary, even if they're scary, when you know it, when you, you know, you know then that there is something greater than you, than greater than me, there's something greater than all of us put together, and that, you know, whether you want to call this the universe, um, higher power, spirit guide, voice of the universe, divine, whoever that is, that, you know, when, when you're given this kind of message, um, it tells you, you know, not to worry, not to worry. We will come out of this. We will come out of this on the other side. So I just, you know, need it. I'm, I am going to be, that's pretty much what the message I'm going to be saying to every, all the signs. So just, just know that. I don't feel that there are coincidences and, you know, and many times over, you remember I tell you I'm a, I, you know, I'm, a, you know, an intuitive channeler, and what that means is I open myself up to my higher power, and whatever the message is that needs to come through, it comes through. So those are kind of those messages that come through. So let's go on one more time, and we're going to cut, and one, two, and three. All three cards are reversed. They're face down, so it's a real strong message for my Leos. Let's see what we have here for Monday through Thursday, general energies. And again, if you, you know, we have our, the people that are essential to running the things that we all need. So thank you all, healthcare workers, um, you know, truck drivers. I've talked people in the groceries, public works. Um, you know, I know that there's so many out, out there. Thank you ever so much. But so we can all do our part. And if our part is staying home, please stay home. Remember that social distancing. Anyway, three cards face down, all reversed for my Leos. Let's see what our first card is. The Nine of Raphael. Okay, Raphael is water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, fluid emotion. Oh, nines are, now this is interesting energy for this week. This, because this is the wish card. What is it that you've been wanting? What is it that you've been looking for? What is it that you've been wishing and hoping for, my Leos? Because the energies are really positive for you. You know, so really think about that. Think about what it is you've been wanting to accomplish this week. But what is it that you want from that more that supernatural side that, you know, that, you know, we, we live both in the natural and the supernatural. Sometimes it's a little bit, you know, sometimes we walk a little more in the natural. Sometimes we walk a little more into that supernatural. But this is something that's, a, that's a, this is something that's bigger than us. So, you know, what is it that you have been wanting, my Leos? Because even though we're living in very kind of strange, well, we're living in strange times, this is still the wish card, okay? So make a wish, dreams become reality, a joyful time of life. That's interesting. Here we go. Next card, again reversed, is the King of Ariel. Ariel is our Earth energy. It is our Taurus, our Virgo. It's our Capricorn energy, solid energy, something or someone you can touch. A lot of times this has to do with money, okay? You know, money, money, money. And this is the king of Ariel. This is the king of the money. This is, so So what is it? I mean, are you, you know, I, I'm not going to say, are you working yourself so many hours that you're going to get this wonderfully big paycheck? Um, I mean, that could be, and if that's the case, you're one of those essential workers, so thank you very much. Um, but this is also not worrying about money so much. This is about not being so, 
you know, I, I, I feel like it's, you know, not having to worry about pinching pennies so much, okay? This is receiving. This is abundance. This is, you know, you're the, you know, you're the king. You know, the lion is the king. So of the, you know, you know, is the king. So it, it's like, here you are. Here you are. Let, let's see you roar, my Leos. Interesting. Really interesting. Successful, stable, accomplished, powerful. Your plans are working out very well. Professional and financial success using resources wisely. So between the two of this, the wish card and the king of um, Ariel, this is about, you know, not worrying about money. This is about money coming in. Um, I'm not quite sure how, you know, in this climate or in this, you know, but there are areas of the world that, you know, that um, is not being affected. So, you know, is it something that my Leos that, you know, you have this wonderful idea and you put this idea out there and all of a sudden it takes off? It could be something very similar to that too. Okay, your last card again reversed, the page of Michael. So Michael is, so this is thought process. Michael is Aquarius. This is also Gemini. This is Libra. You know, thought processes, hearing news. This is about new ideas, exciting new ideas. The page is wants to jump in and just get started with this. So my Leos, even if the world seems to be on that darker side, you are just going to shine through this time. You just, I mean, you're going to be able to use this, whatever this is, this is going to be, and when I say being used for your advantage, it's not so much that you're going to take advantage of this time, but it will show you, it will, you know, I, I, you will actually work well within the constrictors of this time, okay? So, Page of Michael is truthful, perceptive, analytical, blunt. An exciting new challenge. You have what it takes to succeed. Review contracts or documents very thoroughly. So with this, if this was normal times, I'd actually say, you know, if there was that new job, that new career, that new, um, you know, just just that new venture that you were working for, that it was that you were going to put this into place this week, and that it was actually going to work really, really well for you. However, the other thing that I'm getting on these cards is that what you put in place for this week will be the seeds that grow into something bigger for you down the road, okay? So you have both of those. So really, I mean, my Leos, I'm taking this. I'm claiming this. I'm claiming this. I don't see how it's going to happen, but, you know, with everything going on in the world, but you know what? We will see. We will see what happens. Let me go on. And it might, you know, it. it somebody out there might say, Deb, this is for me. So let's go on and see what we have here. We're going to do my angel tarot cards. One more shuffle. Okay, let's go ahead and cut, cut. This one is also reversed. Here we go. The three of fire. Fire is your energy. Abundance. So what's what's this all about? I mean, I mean, this is this is not worrying about money. This is about new ideas, making wishes, receiving. This is positive energy. This is abundance coming in. Um, you know, there could even be some, you know, there could even be some, um, I don't know, somebody might publish something about you. Um, you may be interviewed, but it's it's recognition also. It, it's, it's like you taking your game to the next step. And, um, you know, this, I pay. However, this is going to work out. I'm going to claim it with you. Okay, so three of fire, and again, fire is Aries energy. It is Leo, and it is Sagittarius. But also, too, this is that start of the, you know, of that age of Aquarius. This is, you know, all of these things are happening. So it could be the thing that pushes your energy that much further forward. Okay, abundance. Things look very good. Have patience at this time. So again, when I was telling you that what you're putting into place may be what pushes you or, you know, in that longer run. So have patience at this time. Make long-term plans. So some of this, you know, this energy is, again, what you're putting out there. You know, you're getting it all ready. You're feeling kind of like, you know, maybe, you know, maybe this time is giving you the, um, the energy and the impetus for you to start planning further. 
and what you're doing for this week, it's going to set something further, you know, something further down the road into mo mo into motion. Okay? Okay, so like I said, many times it makes no sense to me. We will see what it, we will see. Okay? So, my Leos, if you enjoy my readings, remember the button's down there. Like, share, subscribe. But as always, my Leos, know that you are loved. Stay safe and be blessed. Bye-bye.